here's your answer to how to solve it. Get the image first. take out all that other stuff so it just says format equal PNG that'll give you the file right click save image as I'm just gonna make a new folder call it new and we'll save that guy in there and then open stego we want to extract that's the file where are we going to put the output? Sure, we'll put it in new also. Uh, is there a password? Yes, there is. One, two, three, four, five. Extract data. It says it did it. Enigma.txt. Cool. Let's go see what that is. So, enigma.txt. Here we go. A bunch of gobbledygook. Not sure, right? So, here's the part where the stringer becomes important. So, back to the riddle. Quite the enigma we have here. Do you know what an enigma is? Enigma machine, oh, look at that. So now let's look at the stringer. What does this stuff mean? Okay, we'll look back at the enigma machine and we can just paste in our text here. And we need to decode, oops. It doesn't really look like anything yet. So we might need to mess around with the Enigma encoding. So what are what are the things in here? Shark, that's a word that's important, right? So let's see what we have here. Oh, there's a shark model. Oh, what's this B thin? B thin, C thin. I'm sure you know the term fat chance. B thin, okay, like the stringer, boom, right? So now, What's the rest of it? Oh crap, I just closed out of my Twitter conversation. <laughs> well, this will help for now. What's the rest of it? See all these things here. Rotator one, position, ring, rotator two, rotator three, rotator four. thread. Oh, you jerk. All right. R1, beta, 1A, 1A. What's that mean? R1, beta, 1A, 1A. Oh, that looks right. Cool. R2, V, 17, 1. What's R2? There's a 17, a 1, but we need a V, right? Find a V. Okay, now it's starting to make sense. R3, I, 12, 1. R3, I, 12, 1. Ah, good, good, good. R4, IV, 1A, 1A. R4, IV, 1A, 1A. So far, so good. And now, what else is it in here? Plug, and some letters, and 4IG. Plug. Plugboard. The plugboard is pairs, letter pairs that you can put in as many or as little as you want. Those are the ones we're using. Cool. And then four IG foreign characters. Ignore. And what do we get? We get this. Looks kind of weird, but if we take out some of these spaces, it's like one slash slash. Dot. Just make it so you can actually read it first. Internet friends with benefits dot com. Okay, so hey, we got a website address out of it. 
website. And it takes a little while. Hmm. It says under construction. It's weird. Dark to light. What else? What seems empty may be full. Oh. A secret message exists. Are you still having fun with our cat and mouse game? I'm sure you realize that it takes both the cat and the mouse to fully extract the amount of fun this can be. Slash cat.png. Happy hunting. Cat.png. Oh, we get a picture. Let's save this guy. We'll say cat. Cool. Let's go back. It says there's a hidden file, though. And mouse is said in there. It's capitalized just like cat. So let's see if there's a mouse. Dot, oh, there's a mouse.png. Let's save that guy too. So now let's go back to Steg. Uh, open Stego. Input file. Let's say it is the mouse. And output. We'll just say same thing. No password. Cool. Mouse and cat.txt extracted something. Let's go look at it. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Mouse and cat. So we get some weird text. And let's do also the cat. And we will actually put it also in there too. No password. Cool, cat and mouse. So we have this string here and some other stuff. No, yep, cat and mouse. So those two strings look alike and then those other things there. That is base 64. So when you put in the AE and 4AE4, you get base 64. So this is a base 64 string. If you know what base 64 looks like, you would have automatically known that, but if not, oh well. And we need to decode from base 64. And we get a Twitter name. <laughs> Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 